Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. We're going to be taking a look at anime and the signs and symbols that are abundantly prevalent in this genre. Now, I want you to understand that this is a genre that I was really into when I was in the world and I have a bit of a background in it. I want you to know that the signs and symbols that we're seeing in our media, in our music, are not only in our country, but all over the world. And it is a design for this new world order system, this fifth age to come. And what they are promoting is the idol that will be the head of it, the all-seeing eye, the Illuminati Messiah, the Antichrist. So when we see this symbology popping up over and over and over again, don't think of it as, oh, well, they're not brainwashing me. I know what's going on. That's not what it's about. What it is about is it is a spiritual battle. They are promoting their symbology, their idol, in the things that people like and enjoy so that they will vicariously like and enjoy their system their idol that is coming it's a spiritual battle it is not a physical one so we can see in all these animes this all-seeing eye is popping up all over the place it's extremely prevalent i want you guys to understand that it's almost like a spiritual tag it's like this side is claiming this stuff as their own showing that they are the designers behind it and showing that their spirit is in it now we're going to be taking an express look at Dragon Ball Z. Now I was a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z when I was a child. I'd watch it every single day on Toonami. And now looking back at it in retrospect, I have an understanding of what it is. Uh, one of the labels that we see in it is Tien. He was a character with a third eye. and. The, obviously, the third eye goes into the New Age religion of opening up your eye. And anyone who is involved in this type of religion, I want you to know that you really need to look into it. And you'll see that all of these things have synchronicities. All of these things are lining up with this same New World Order system. It is a part of the deception. They have created and fabricated this and sold it as a good thing. The love and joy and, and, and free thinking. But really, it is a part of their system and they are going to use it to their advantage. Now, we see Tien's attack is the triangle hand motion that we see all of these quote-unquote Illuminati artists throwing up. This is a worship of the system that they are erecting. This is a worship of the Illuminati programming. And you'll see conveniently he puts it up over his third eye as the capstone for the Illuminati Antichrist system. Now, we can see that, and obviously that's them just labeling their stuff, saying this is ours, we're in control of this. The Dragon Ball Z series also had a perverted view on the afterlife. Goku, after he died, went for training with a teacher named King Kai, but along his journeys in the afterlife, he went to a place called Hell with the caricature red Satan with the horns who had on a jersey that said hell and hell was depicted as a big playground a party place where you run around on rides and have a whole bunch of fun so we see that but now let's look at the storyline and we see that there are these Saiyans who go around the galaxy destroying planets and they come to earth now these Saiyans would go to planets and they would fall down to the planets and then destroy them. Now this is a symbolic representation of the fallen angels who were cast out of heaven. And we see that these Saiyans fall down to these planets as a representation of that. But on Earth, there came one Saiyan and his name was Goku. And he was a light bearer. He came to the planet and began to teach people how they could be more than they were, how they could level up and be more powerful and stronger. And this is an image of Satan, Lucifer. You see, the Hegelian dialectic is to uh, present two opposing sides, one light and one dark. But in reality, they are both dark sides. But it gets the people to go 
and accept one side as light when in reality it's a wolf in sheep's clothing and it is the dark side as well so it's a win-win situation for the enemy you see goku even though he's presented as a good guy has all the characteristics and qualities of lucifer the light bear who came down he was one of the fallen angels and he came to deceive the whole world and that is what Goku is a caricature of. So we see that this is basically just a play out of all of these things. The fallen angels, the man could be more than they are, all these kids seeing this, unhappy with the way the creator made them in his own image, and wanting to be Saiyans, wanting to be something else, wanting to be these demons. Now, this is what is often happening in these anime things. That's why there are all these vampire shows with these creatures who have the symbology and, and are dark demonic creatures, but they're promoted as the good guys the heroines the the ones to be like and we see it in inuyashu where he fights demons but he's the demon good guy and and people begin to look at him as the hero a demon and this is what is going on in these shows now and i'm going to take more looks into this into the future but i really want you guys to understand the illuminati is not a secret cabal of old men who sit inside of a secret room and decide who's going to promote their symbol while there is a secret cabal of men who do call themselves the Illuminati, they're not the ones who are doing this all over the world. I want you guys to understand this is a spiritual battle. You see, if you are not of Christ, you are of Antichrist. We see in scripture that it says we, that meaning Christians, know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. You see, if you are not led by the Holy Spirit of God, you are led by the Spirit of Antichrist. And the Spirit of Antichrist is like a funnel. It's diverting everybody who comes into its pull, into its grasp, into the same direction, which is the promotion of this Antichrist system. I remember when I was lost, I would like draw pictures because I was becoming a tattoo artist and my artwork would, would keep on having like a theme of demons that have upside down crosses on people's head, that have all seeing eyes and stuff like that. And it wasn't because I was Illuminati, it was because I was under the control of the Antichrist spirit and this is what my inspiration was. And I look at other artists and I see that it is the same way. They are all promoting this stuff and it is getting more and more prevalent. And the more and more someone is under and the submission and control of this spirit, the more you will see this in their artwork. And so that is what is happening in anime. These people have rejected Christ, rejected salvation through Jesus. and they are under the control of the antichrist spirit and this is why the symbology is popping up this is why they're promoting demons and demonic manifestations in people and this is why we're going to see this all throughout anime so you need to ask yourself as a bible believing christian is this something that i can glorify god in? and that is something you need to seek him out in this is a late hour and we as soldiers of christ as foreigners and exiles here in this world that is controlled by the prince of the power of the air. You see, the scripture tells us that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. We are in enemy territory and we must always keep that at the forefront of our minds lest the deceitfulness of sin draw us away from a hot, passionate love of Christ and we end up lukewarm and he spit us out of his mouth standing before the Father, saying, Lord, Lord, but he say to us, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. We are told in scripture to be on guard, to be watchful. As we see prophecy coming to fulfillment all around the world, we must be testing what is in our lives, cutting off all that is holding us back in this race, casting aside all the weight that is weighing us down. If we can see that it promotes the Antichrist and we profess to be of Christ, Scripture teaches us what fellowship hath the light with darkness. None. It doesn't have any. So remember these things, understand them, I know it's hard. That is why Jesus gave us the examples of cutting off hands, cutting off feet, gouging out eyes. These aren't easy things to do. And he wasn't talking about physical body members. He was talking about things that are so close and dear to us that it is like cutting off a hand or gouging out an eye. But it would be better than that we do that than to suffer eternally in hellfire. I want you to understand this. Christ doesn't tell us to flee from these things because he wants our life to be boring and miserable. He tells us this because he wants to protect us from the deceiver, Satan. This is not a bad thing. 
This is the best thing that could happen to us, protecting us from the trap that is being set. Keep these things in mind. God bless you all.